Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do a really cute bubble bun half up using just a ponio. No bobby pins, no spray, nothing needed but this magical tool right here. So today I'm gonna be using our small version, which is slightly thinner than our medium to large size. So it's really good for section hair, um, half up, half down, just styling out or super thin hair. This guy's really good. A little bit about the Ponyo, it is not stretchy, it bends. So it's not going to stretch like a hair tie and damage your hair. That is a huge perk to wearing a Ponyo is that your hair will get healthier and it will grow. My hair has grown since wearing a Ponyo. It's not breaking as much. It's seriously a game changer and a hair saver. As you can see, the Ponyo has little ridges or bumps inside the Ponyo. It's sleek on the outside, a little bumpy on the inside. That is gonna interlock and give you a very secure hold when it's in your hair, but you still get that sleek finish. These are going to help not damage your hair. They're cushiony pillows. All right, babes, let's get to styling. Super easy. Um, this is kind of like a real understated look, which I like. It's very trendy. It's kind of a t-shirt look. So you throw a t-shirt on, throw your hair half up, still look put together and boom. When it comes to the ponio, always use two fingers. You're gonna want your pointer and thumb right in between the ponio. You don't wanna put your hands like this because it's awkward, weird to grab your hair. It's just not as easy or seamless to use that way. So don't do this, do this. Okay, let's get to styling. Okay, so I'm gathering my hair in a low half up style. So act like you're just gonna do a normal half up low pony. And you're gonna take those two fingers. But a super cute look. Again, completely understated, so fun. It doesn't look like you tried too hard, but you're ready to go. Now, if you wanna take the style one step further, it's so easy. You can always cover the ponio with your extra hair. Check this out. Once you get to the end, you're gonna take your open ponio pin. These are non-damaging, guys. These are comfortable. They're not gonna stab your head. And I'm pretty addicted. I was a little intimidated by them at first because I didn't know how to work them. But now that I do, I am obsessed and I will never go back to a normal bobby pin again. So check out this really cool technique. face frame but how easy was that and again it's so comfortable it feels like there's nothing in my hair and it's just a cute thicker style like if I did this with a, a regular hair tie it would not look as put together as sleek it would not be as comfortable as the ponio is it's incredible you guys do not miss out on this product and I'm gonna show y'all how to take out uh, the ponio it's so easy so fast and again it's non damaging guys like Hair ties rip my hair out, they just do. And this doesn't, it slides out, it's comfortable, and it's just easy. So check this out. I'm gonna open it back into an O shape, and then it just slides out. That's it. And y'all notice no creasing? Mm -hmm. 